everyone. Um, I'm going to forewarn you on this video. I just bought a new computer and I am a Windows person switching to Mac. And I went from really feeling really smart to really stupid overnight. And so I have no idea how this video is going to turn out. Um, like currently I'm looking at my screen and everything's backwards. Um, yeah. So, um, I learned fast that nothing I owned worked with it and Though a billion people say they are awesome, you will never want to go back to Windows. I'm still working on that feeling. So anyways, I'm going to forewarn you. Um, you can laugh along because it's it's really kind of pathetic um, on how in, incapable I seem to be running this computer. Um, anyways, I am working on... I got the tutorial for Kathy Orta's Paper Phenomenon Travel Enjoy the Journey album. And um, this is just a picture. See, like right now on my screen, this is completely backwards. So I, I have no idea how this is going to record. Anyways, um, I love this. This is my absolute favorite one that she has done. I've, I have many others of hers, but this is by far my absolute. I waited with bated breath. It was probably the first one to buy this when it posted on her blog. Because <laughs> it, it was just... I, I just love this one. Um, the only thing that I, well, you'll see, I changed it around a little bit to, to fit some projects that I'm doing, but um, for the most part, I follow the tutorial. It was really easy. Um, she's got also on Ustream how to make it, and you, you guys know Kathy. So um, anyways, I just wanted to show you part one of what I have done so far. Um, I'm kind of working on two of them at one time, and um, I'll show you the changes I've made in it, but Anyway, so it's the Kathy Phenomenons, or Kathy Phenomenon, Kathy Orta from Paper Phenomenons um, Enjoy the Journey album. What I did was, basically, this is the exact same size as the one that's in her tutorial. The only difference is, is that in her tutorial, she has three memorabilia uh, boxes on the side of it. I didn't have a use for those, so I basically omitted that part of the tutorial and cut my covers off so that it just went past the pages instead of going way out. Um, on this one, that's the only change pretty much that I made to the to the tutorial. Mostly because I just didn't have a use for those and it, with the way her tutorials are set up, it was real easy just to cut it off. So I did. Um, there's the flap on the front. I still have that. You can see that it's, oops, sorry, that it's, you know, big and long and, okay, so how do I, okay, sorry, I'm working with a new webcam on top of everything else. It's Oh my goodness, just excuse it all. Um, anyways, I uh, the pages are made exactly the same. I haven't done the inside of the front cover, mostly because I got this far in this one and then had a brilliant idea to change it completely. <laughs> so this one is kind of my tester. But the pages are made just alike. You know, you do your hidden hinge, you do your pockets. Um, this is my favorite page that she did. I just think this pocket style is brilliant. I mean, it, it's going to hold up great. It's easy to get the tags in and out of. It's just brilliant. Um, but, you know, basically, it's if you have the tutorial or you've seen her video, it's it's done almost exactly alike. Um, again, the only difference is on the back cover, there was three boxes here. I did not do that. I just cut them off and made it into um, a book album instead of the with the pocket seat. Ooh, sorry. Um, but anyways, I got this far in this one, and then I decided, you know, for what I wanted to make this for, my son's turning 12 in September, and I, I just, I have a whole bunch of pictures to go in it, but I don't know, I, I had a different idea for it. Anyway, so this one got shoved aside, and I decided that even though Kathy said this was a ginormous album, and let me tell you, it is. If you have read her list on how much paper you need, she's not kidding. <laughs> it takes a ton of paper. Um... But I wanted to make it smaller, only exactly alike, just smaller, and I did. So I took the Enjoy the Journey tutorial, and I just shrunk it down to fit 6x6 six six pictures. The cover is the same depth. Um, the only difference is the covers are 6.5x6.5, six six so that I could just glue on 6x6 six six papers on the inside. Basically, all of the pages are 6x6. Six six. I made a little change because I didn't put the flap on the front for two reasons. One, <laughs> I forgot. <laughs> and you can't, after I put everything on the inside, I couldn't go back. And I, I, anyways, the other thing is, is that I have something I want to go on the front of this one. So I just didn't, I, it was, I just decided I would accept it as the way it was supposed to be. Does that work? 
Anyways, so she, I haven't finished it completely, um, but this is the base of it. Okay, where's my camera? Oop, there we go. Left to right, right to left. Uh, I did the inside, but I haven't added all of the extra pockets and that kind of stuff. There's, you know, a pocket. The only thing I changed on the inside was I added um, some envelopes that I had because I had them so I could, something like that. Uh, so there's an envelope um, where she had just the little short um, flaps. I made them bigger so I could add more photos to it. Um, and then there's, of course, the pockets. Um, just like hers and um, I'm going to add some more envelopes again here's her her sliding pocket with it sorry guys with the I'll, I'll tell you what it's everything on a Mac is opposite of Windows that's that's about all I'm going to say on that um, I even did her little her her pockets that she has um, I just cut the top one off and so it fit perfectly and um, I added an envelope instead of a um, you know how she makes hers. I, I just I had these so I stuck them in. I thought they they would go good. Here's a flap again with a pocket and a main page and you get it. I mean it's basically hers. I added every once in a while I added a little tiny envelope and then in the back again because she had the three boxes here and, and I just didn't have a use for that part. I just repeated what she did on the front cover on the back. And then there's the back of it. So that is my take on it. And um, so I have, I have, I am going to be using um, this paper, but I bought this one in 12 by 12. This is the main one I'm going to use to make um, the mini album. This, see, I'm going to use this on the cover. I just love that. Anyways, uh, you get it. Basically, I just took it and I shrunk it down to six by six. And um, I think it turned out great. It is by far my favorite tutorial that she has made. I, um, Love it. Recommend it to everybody. She's got the how to make it on Ustream. The tutorial course is being sold on her blog. And um, this is what I've got done so far. So as I as I get it done, I will post um, post my where I'm where I'm at on it, whatever thing. And so you can see the size difference. Again, this one is made exactly the size of hers other than I cut the three boxes off. So you can see the difference on that. But um, anyways, that's where I'm at. Um, I, if you have suffered through my horrible videoing today, I really, really appreciate it. Um, Mac tips, welcome. Um, any and all, pretty much. I did figure out the alt key thanks to my Twitter friends because I was lost without an alt key. And um, I'll figure it out. Y'all hang with me. Um, I hope you're having a great day, week, month, year, night, day type thing and anyways gotta go later peoples have a good one